Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. It's time once again for some weekly painting progress. So, both myself and my brother, Mr. Percival Sparkle Trout, have been slowly but surely trying to work our way through the backlog of various printed figures that we've got laying around. That is one of the problems with having a printer run almost non-stop, all the time, every day. No, it's not that bad, but it might as well be, because when, when it's going, it's going to make sure it goes. So we've seen plenty of these models before, but this is another of the Induni, Induni Consortium, which is a set of oftentimes scantily clad um, cat girls squats. They are very much squat sized. And this was just a random civilian, or schoolgirl most likely. But the funny thing is, and an issue we've had with some of these models, um, is that some of them just don't seem to want to wear their clothing correctly. And originally, when you look at the files for this figure, that undershirt that she's wearing does not exist. That's actually supposed to be exposed skin, which just I, it left both of us kind of scratching our heads. So I, I think the undershirt there is a much better look if you want your women with their chests barely covered with their school uniform. That's on you. I, I will leave you to it. But you know what? I, I think as a clothed model, as I fiddle with the camera here, I think she works quite well right in line with the other Iduni that I have slowly acquired from Mr. Sparkle Trout and not Mr. Sparkles, but uh, have yet to return to him. I kind of need to do that. I have got him over the other day and I forgot to give those to him. So yeah, I need to do that soon. And I'm not kidding. They are absolutely squat sized as I look for a squat model of which I have none, but you can see here with a warrior of the far future in the grim darkness uh, they absolutely are going to be squat sized so something to look forward to if that is something that you need an entire tabletop dedicated army with transportation and all that stuff tons of modular units it's all there and as always we will have those links for you down below and what's interesting is kind of rolling with that color scheme that he went with is this guy that comes to us from that evil one. This is one of his Vilka. I think that's what the names were. And they were basically dog soldiers, just literally dog soldiers. They are canine infantry, very uh, Imperial Guard abhuman style. I like the armor, actually. But yeah, the colors, color scheme is definitely representing... Uh, a similar unit. I don't know. Cats and dogs living together. Who knows, right? Works for me if it works for you. But our hope is, since we have Thanksgiving pondering ever so slowly upon us, uh, hopefully we will actually have some time to use some of these models. So I'm hoping maybe one day we'll do some fantasy. One day we'll do some sci-fi stuff. And to round out the bunch, and my particular favorite model of the week is this heavy Rambutan. I don't even remember which kind of suit this is because Papsicles continues to just overwhelm us with all sorts of random crazy models. Is there an actual one-to-one -one proxy for this guy? Maybe. Beats me. Don't know. Don't care. Papsicles just keeps rolling out crazy stuff. Uh, I know I have a few of the other Rambutan models myself. I've printed a bunch for Sparkle Trout here. They're just, they're fun, they're interesting, and they're big and chunky, as the kids like to say these days. That is a big, fat suit. I, again, I don't even know what the equivalent would be. Maybe a heavy weapon team? I don't even know. I don't even care. It just looks cool and actually fits in quite nicely with the rest of the Yaduni. So, again, that nice unified paint scheme really taking advantage of it if he wants to go with a full-on cats and dogs kill team, which would be quite entertaining, or just all cat girls. We can pretend that there's a cat girl in here. I know at least that's one of the nice things of Papsicles is oftentimes they have modular heads and the parts are all swappable, so you can totally just roll with that and mix and match to your heart's content. And hey, the other thing is with 
Thanksgiving, at least here in the U.S., right around the corner, that means Black Friday, which means sales on STL models. So if any of this stuff in any of these videos really looks interesting, hint, hint, you might want to be keeping an eye when places like My Mini Factory and all the usual suspects start, you know, slashing prices. Because that's been one of the fun things, staying up late, going crazy, printing stuff, and acquiring hordes of STL files that I don't need. Oh, God, that did not come out nice. Yes, it's super zoomed in, but good God. Okay, this guy's going to have to go back for another Passover. I am I am not happy with this. Ugh. Uh, this was supposed to be a model from Print Minis, and, well, I thought I did a better job than this. At least if it's nice and far away, it's not as bad. But, mm, up close, you need a little bit of work, my friend. I think he's supposed to be like some kind of a pilot or something. It looks like he's got a flight suit on. But there's just some interesting details that I don't think I really did a good job of actually hitting upon. So, back to the drawing board with you, my friend. We'll fix you up good. Which is half the fun of this stuff, anyway. Uh, here is a model that never did I ever think I was actually going to sit down and paint. This is a Hakazlam... Janissary. Was it the Hortelac, Hortelac Janissary? I don't know. I did a very quick, very simple paint job, and I can see... Oh, God. Look at that. It's like, I swear, I'm looking at this stuff when I'm painting it under decent lighting, and how I miss these spots, I don't know. I don't know if that's silver paint, or I just chipped it already. Either way, that's kind of annoying. God, it's all over. Okay. <sighs> Back to the drawing board with you too, my friend. At least from the front end, you look okay. It is a cool model. Cool enough that had I not seen those massive imperfections at like a three times zoom function, uh, I'd be quite content with myself, and I thought I did okay. I mean, I did all right. And yeah, it's just little bits and pieces here that I want to fix up. But I, I was like, oh, you know what? This is kind of fun. And I've never been a big Hawk Islam fan, but there was another one of the Hassassin that I was really tempted by. I'm, I'm always tempted by something from Infinity. But the fact that he's actually painted is a big major plus for me. He sat around for an awful long time. All right. Well, hopefully this guy looks a little bit better. A little. But uh, this was one of the recent, the second batch of samurai models, the evil samurai stuff from Raging Heroes. And again, I may not have done the best job painting him, but he's finished, and I think that's what counts. Now, I've mentioned this before, but this guy from the first of the Samurai set was one of my absolute favorites. And I was afraid I'd painted them exactly the same, but other than the red, I mean, red's a common color in Japan for that kind of stuff. I think it works out all right. They're not too visibly similar. I mean, I guess you could use them together if you really wanted. I could make them as rivals. Whatever the case may be. I am happy he's finished. I think I did an okay job on him. The funny thing is, I don't really do that many videos on Raging Hero stuff, and I, I feel like it's like everybody probably already knows about it. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe I should. I love their stuff. They're like one of those companies, them and like Dragon Trapper's Lodge, and there's a couple others. I don't know. <laughs> there's like there's like a competition for a tie between those, but but Dragon Trappers and, and Raging Heroes are probably always they're one of those that are Piper makes is another one. I don't think I've ever done any videos lately on her stuff, but again, absolutely amazing. And I've just got piles of parts for the new Voidcraft stuff or whatever they're called. One of these days. One of these days. But this is another Raging Heroes model. I was going to try to get him done for Halloween. That didn't happen, obviously, as it's mid-November now. But this was from one of their Undead sets, and his chest looks way too clean. I thought I did a better job about that, but I guess I did not. A lot of just quick dry brushing to get him done. I don't know if he's actually wearing a gauntlet right there. It looked kind of like he was. Ooh, look at that. See? I hate that. You can see, like, on his... Tatters there. I missed a few spots. Uh, that's all right. We'll go back and fix it up. We're doing a lot of fixing up this week. To the point that I'm not even sure if I'm going to have time to get stuff painted. I have a lot of stuff going on. And uh, got to go take care of some 
things that are going to suck up a ton of time. So fingers crossed, I hope I can have some stuff painted next week. No promises. In fact, you know what, maybe, eh, maybe we'll take a break. Like, I feel like I deserve it. Maybe we'll take a break until after Thanksgiving. I'm kind of liking the sound of that. Yes, I'm going to make it official. So we're going to put a pause on the painting videos until after Thanksgiving. Part of the reason is, well, um, I'm off on Thanksgiving for the whole week of Thanksgiving. So that means I have time to actually sit and paint. But my wife's going to be going out of town, which means I'm running back and forth to the airport and making sure all that stuff's taken care of. So that's going to be eating up a major chunk of time right there. But also, you know, obviously I want to spend some time with my family while I have a chance. So, yeah. Uh, that does not mean videos will not be forthcoming. I have an, a massive backlog of... Japanese, Chinese, various model kits that need videos put up. So I'll make sure those are still going to be coming. And it's not like I won't be in town and I'll be checking stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm thinking we're going to take a break on these and put them on pause so we have a nice backlog of painted stuff for when everybody is done with their break, if they get one, at least if they're in the U.S., right? And then before you know it, it's going to be Black Friday. It's going to be time for Kingdom Death stuff. It's going to be time for... Well, all the holidays are like rolling around right after that. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, if you need to get a hold of me, you can always find me on social media, on Discord, on here, uh, what have you. And as always, like I said, we'll have those links down below where you can check out all this stuff. And especially with Black Friday coming up, you might want to keep an eye out for those good sales if you've got a printer. And it's not like those printers aren't getting any cheaper people. They keep dropping in price. All this stuff was printed on like my 0K Photon. No, oh, is it a Photon? I don't even know. It's a Mono X, whatever that is. I can't even remember. It's any cubic, I think. I don't recall. But you can get way better quality for than what I'm printing out for like a fraction of probably what I paid at that point. But, you know, mine's a good solid workhorse. He's been putting in some serious hours. I like how I refer to it as a he. Like, anyway. So, keep an eye out if you want any recommendations. Uh, I guess I could offer them, but there's probably better people who are more knowledgeable in that regard. But, like I said, uh, we'll be around. We'll be happy to help. And hopefully everybody's going to enjoy their holidays while I try to do the same. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. And we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.